Welcome to the channel. I'm glad you stopped by. Thank you so much. Spirit, this is a general reading for the month of July for our Leo friends. Please give us clear and useful messages for Leo. What's the overall energy this month for Leo? We have mending. Okay, mending something. See what's going on here. We see you want to be fair to someone. Someone wants to be fair to you. Good energy. We have yen energy, so a lot of feminine energy. So whoever you're dealing with may be a feminine energy. And happy, happy, whatever happens gets resolved. So if you're on the mend, if you, you know, had a little sports injury or something, it looks like you're going to be very happy at the end of July, my friends. All right, Leo, let's take a look at the overall energy with the tag card Celtic. I'm going to put the cards out, and then I'm going to switch to the table view so that you can see them as I discuss the energies. So right now, first card down, Page of Swords, the status quo. You're looking at something, studying a situation. Crossing it is a Nine of, nine of Pentacles. You are very doing very well. That's a single ladies card, quote unquote, single masculine card. But it really says that you're ready for a new season to start. We have the death card. There we go. Rebirth of some sort. But you're looking forward to the rebirth. There are flowers everywhere. All right, the star card. Leo, what is going on here? I like it. I like it. What a beautiful reading. Okay. What is the highest to one of the outcomes that is likely to come about? Six of Pentacles, striking a good deal with someone. Coming to the table, both of you as equals. I like that the star card, of course, is Aquarius energy. So we have Sagittarius, excuse me, we have Gemini, Virgo, Scorpio, Taurus, and, and uh, Aquarius. The Justice card. So many of you might be starting a new job, a new business. The Justice card is your seventh house. It can be business partners, but it can also mean that you could be striking up or meeting someone new after a time of healing. We have the Wheel of Fortune card in this situation, the Justice card in the near future. So Libra, Sagittarius, again, a lot of fire, a lot of air. Nine of Pentacles, looking at the details. Ooh, looking at the details very closely, moving forward in a very stable and serene manner, being able to figure out what the problems are or whatever needs to be anticipated. This is a gorgeous reading. Okay, what else do we have? The King of Pentacles, wealth building. Wow. All right. The Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. So let's see what your outcome energy is. Six of Swords, okay, so that is your outcome energy. We're going to clarify everything. Okay, we're going to go to the table shot here for you. Let's see if we can get this sort of more. I can't tell what you can see. There, okay. So let's go ahead and get clarifiers here. So what I'm seeing overall as the big picture is that you are, when you look at the Page of Swords, You've been doing online research, and with what you're learning, you're letting go of a lot of different ideas that you had possibly for a new business. Uh, for some of you, you may be actually changing jobs or careers, but it looks like it's uh, very lucrative for you because you're doing very well. Nine of Pentacles, you have beautiful earrings, you have a beautiful garden and yard, and you know, you're living in a degree of comfort that's very powerful. Now you're willing to make some really big changes. The death card here with all these lilies says that you may be putting some something to rest. That's what I'm definitely seeing, that energy. The star card says that you had an epiphany about what you want. It looks like many of you had some sort of dream or it's a card of inspiration. Some inspiration has come to you about changes that you would like to make. And it looks as though you're signing contracts, you know, anything legal. Sometimes it can be a business partnership, but it can also be buying a business. It can be 
you know, anything that you sign a legal contract for when you start a new job, the justice card comes up because you're signing all the legal paperwork for, you know, insurance and all of those sorts of things. Even if you're working for a platform, there's still like a user's agreement that you have to conform to. Wheel of Fortune says that you are getting a lucky break, Leo, a lucky break. And you're very much in tune with what has to be done. This is about, I think, coming back from a time period. I think this is, for many of you, going to be coming back from a job loss or some sort of a business transition. You look as though you've made it through very well, but you're seeing sort of an urgency. Like it would be like somebody who can look at the trends, right? You're like, okay, well, and I don't even want to talk about Bitcoin. But in other words, many people like myself would be like, I don't even know what Bitcoin is. And other people would be on it, making money on it. So what I'm seeing is that you are looking at things right now very realistically in a very optimistic but realistic, grounded way, you are moving forward in your life and away from some difficulties of the past. However, I must say that your whatever is going on, you look like you have been in a period of time of a lot of growth, rebirth, a lot of transformation, and happy transformation, really getting yourself into a space of happiness while you let something go. Let's see what the Page of Swords is. The King of Pentacles. Okay. So we have the King of Pentacles here. So for some of you, you may be letting go of your singlehood. Okay, that's possible. The Justice card can mean things like a prenuptial agreement. Um, so that's possible. It's also possible, because I see this as a business card, is that you may be transitioning your business to, you know, updating what you think is going to sell and that sort of thing. It's a very prosperous card. The Knight of Cups is crossing your singleness. Somebody's coming in with a love offer. The Eight of Swords says that you're going through such a transformation that it's highly unlikely in this particular moment, maybe until August, the eighth month. Uh, I don't feel like you're quite ready for the step into the future. You're right there. You're poised. It's like you've got most of your makeup on for the party or your tuxedo on for the red carpet, but you haven't gotten in the limousine. So let's look and see what we have here for the star card. Look, at this just flipped over. I can't even make this up. The star card flipped over in my deck. I also have another flipper, the Page of Cups. Okay, so I'm going to say straight up, for someone out there, you are most likely rising in your own stardom or you're partway through your career. It does look like you might be dating somebody who's famous, but, you know, with YouTube and every other way that we have fame now, you know, it can be quite individual, but you have love and happiness here. The, this is also hopes and dreams for love coming true. Somebody younger than yourself may come in and make an offer, but it may be somebody who's still a powerhouse. Young does not mean, obviously we have so many young millionaires now, but what I see is somebody very capable coming in, somebody who's your equal, Leo, somebody who's going to, with that seventh house of justice, be equal give and take. Here we have a temperance card. So for those of you who are trying to negotiate something or are in the middle of a negotiation, it does look like it ends pretty soon. It does look as though the burdens of the negotiation are ended. So if you were, for instance, trying to negotiate the fair price on something, it looks as though you give up the burden and you meet somewhere in the middle right? Okay. The Justice card, Five of Swords. Why does a Justice card, something unfair in a legal agreement has you bothered in the near future? Let's see what that is. Some situation. The Five of Wands. Okay. I'm seeing this a lot with home buying, you know, like multiple bids on properties. Yeah, karma, judgment. So you may decide that you're not going to pay over a certain price for something. Okay, but I do feel that Wheel of Fortune will turn in your favor. You might get a no. Somebody might outbid you if you are bidding on something. And at the end of the day, that might not work out and it could bounce back to you is how I'm reading that. Let's see. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? 
Nine of Pentacles is that good Virgo energy of the planner. Somebody who moves forward and sees, you know, they, they have visions of the future that are very detailed. Six of Swords. So many of you, Six of Swords, Six of Swords, many of you are moving. It really is that simple and moving to a better place. It does look like the Four of Cups, you're bored with where you're at. And it does look like some of you, you know, certainly have been caught up in pandemic-related issues. So you may be in a situation where you feel like you have to move with the shadow side. And some of you will, but I'm getting that it's it's very favorable, very, very geared towards success. The Five of Cups says that in the past you've really wanted to do well. You've done well. Nine of Pentacles is doing very well. Some of your plans did not come to fruition the way you wanted them to. That's okay. You're moving ahead here with the Six of Swords energy to Ten of Pentacles. There we go. There we have it. Virgo energy. You come out on top. The Empress card. Oh, my word. What a great way to end a reading. This is really exceptional. We do have the Sacred Destiny cards here because whatever it is, whatever your worries or woes or, you know, is making you feel uncomfortable, you know, there's a, it's a... It's a complicated kind of combination of things that you're facing, but you sail right through Empress energy with a ton of coins, new beginnings. Leo, Leo, how stunning is that? I feel as though many of you are moving through your life with very complex decisions which you're making with great courage. Look at this, a card of courage. Well, you are courageous and freedom. You want to be happy. You want the freedom to be happy, and you are moving in that direction. Um, and so, Leo, I would say you have an absolutely exceptional reading here. You know, you've been going through it with all the planets and, and Aquarius, but you are off to the races. You'll have a fabulous month. Sunila, thank you. Bye-bye.